Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel. Today is part five, the final video of my little mini series where I pick five 2021 horror and thriller books to read. So if you're new here, what I've done is I've picked 50 titles from 2021, put them in order of the publication dates, divided them into five groups, 10 options in each group, and at the end of each video, I only pick one of those books to read. I'm so excited to finally discover which title I'm going to pick because I really have no idea. I know I'll say that every video, but it's true. So hard. So let's get started. Option one is going to be Slewfoot by Brom. This is a story about a young woman named Abatha, and she has just moved to a Puritan town because she is betrothed to this young man. And soon after they are married, this young man dies under mysterious circumstances. At the same time, an ancient being named Slewfoot awakens, and he has to decide whether he is a predator or a protector. And I think Abatha goes to seek Slewfoot's help because soon villagers start dying and there are new rumors whispering about the town, about witchery. So Abatha and Slewfoot must decide who they are and what they must do in order to survive. Option two is going to be Summer Sons by Lee Mandelo. This is a story about Eddie and Andrew. They are gay best friends, closer than brothers, until the day that Eddie moves away to go to college. Well, Andrew has a plan to join him in six months, and right before he is set to do so, Eddie dies of an apparent suicide. So once Andrew gets there, he has to discover the truth behind what happened. He has to deal with Eddie's roommate and his friends, and soon he starts seeing a phantom with bleeding wrists. So once he starts digging, he uncovers like family secrets, and soon he realizes that he didn't really know Eddie as well as he thought he did. But once Andrew starts digging for the truth, he soon realizes that his own life is in danger. Can he discover the truth and expose it before it's too late? The third option is Horseman by Christina Henry. This is a story about a young boy named Ben, he's 14 years old, and this is set 20 years after the supposed events of The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, which no one in town believes in anymore, not even Ben's grandfather who was around during that time. So Ben and his friends like to play Sleepy Hollow Boys, where they reenact the events that supposedly took place back then, until the day they discover the headless corpse of a young child. Could the legend actually be true, or is something more sinister lurking in the woods? The fourth option is Cackle by Rachel Harrison. This is a story about a woman who, after being dumped by her boyfriend, decides to make a new life for herself. So she leaves Manhattan for a quiet small town in upstate New York, where the neighbors are super friendly and her apartment is dreamy, minus the minor inconvenience of a spider infestation. I would not be living there. She soon befriends a woman named Sophie who is eccentric and witty and it's just a lot of fun to be around. So they hang out and soon our main character, I forget her name, starts to notice that the townsfolk are scared of Sophie. I mean yeah she's kind of eccentric and her house is in the middle of the woods, and she does seem to hold some powers, but she couldn't be, could she? Option five is going to be Reprieve by James Hahn Matson. This is a story set in 1997 about a group of people who went through this full contact horror escape room type situation, and if they were to make it through the end, they win a cash prize. But once they make it to the end, a deranged man breaks into the room and kills one of them. So I think this story is recounted through police interviews by the people who were there. The sixth option is The House of Dust by Noah Broyles. So in this story, a true crime writer and a prostitute both are seeking things and they go to this abandoned plantation in Tennessee to search for his next story and for her to regroup and get out of the prostitution business. But they soon discover that something lurks behind the quiet. Something stirs in the dust. Can they figure out what it is before it's too late? 
Option seven is going to be The Gold Persimmon by Lindsay Murbon. This story takes place in dual realities, one of which a young girl named Cly works as a check-in girl at a hotel called The Gold Persimmon. It is a gothic hotel set in downtown Manhattan, I think, and she just tries to keep her head low, but she soon gets involved with a hotel guest, and I'm not exactly sure what happens, but I think soon her life becomes endangered. At the same time, in the alternate reality, a mysterious fog has enveloped the city, trapping Jamie, a young non-binary person, in a sex hotel with six other people, and soon it becomes a game of cat and mouse. So both Jamie and Cly must survive their own horrors in this hotel in alternate realities. I don't know if they're going to converge or not, but it sounds really interesting. The eighth option is This Thing Between Us by Gus Marino. So this story is about a couple who buys the world's most advanced smart speaker. And it's all fun and games until the wife dies. And I guess the husband blames the smart speaker? I don't know. <laughs> Sounds really confusing. But he soon has to deal with like politicians and people trying to make his wife out to be a martyr. I guess to bring down this company. But he wants none of that. He leaves Chicago and goes to this secluded cabin in Colorado where he can try to deal with his anger and grief, but he soon realizes he cannot run from either one of those, nor can he escape this thing that's hunting him. All right, the ninth option is one I cannot find much detail about. That is Pearl by Josh Mallerman. All I know about this one is it is about a malevolent telekinetic pig on a farm that gets people to kill people? I don't know. <laughs> Sounds really bizarre, but really right at my alley. The tenth and final option in this video, as well as in this series, is Where They Wait by Scott Carson. This is a story about a newspaper writer who is desperate to find another gig, and he soon is hired to create like a profile for this new sleep app called Clarity. And it seems very conventional, like white noises and meditation sounds. But there's also this hauntingly beautiful voice of a woman on there that sings this song that really isn't supposed to be relaxing. It's kind of disturbing, but it works. But with it comes along nightmares. And soon he discovers that this company is not interested in his article, but they are interested in him because whether he realizes it or not, he was one of 20 people that have already heard this song, but he is the only one still alive. Okay, those are the final 10 options. Now it's time to go through them and pit them against each other to see which one will come out on top. So here they are again. I'm going to go down the list really quickly and divide this list in half. So between Slewfoot and Summer Suns, as much as I would really like to read a story about gay best friends and one of them dies and all that stuff, I think I'm going to have to go with Slewfoot on this one. Between Horseman and Cackle, I would really love to read both of these. I've always liked the story of the Legend of Sleepy Hollow. But I think I'm going to go with Cackle on this one. Between Reprieve and The House of Dust. I've not heard anyone talk about The House of Dust. It is set in my home state. So I think I'm going to go with that one. Then we have The Gold Persimmon versus This Thing Between Us. I'm going to go with The Gold Persimmon. And finally, between Pearl and Where They Wait. Definitely going to pick Pearl. Okay, so now we have Slewfoot, Cackle, The Gold Persimmon, The House of Dust, and Pearl. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut one of these. That way it'll be two on two. And I think I'm going to go ahead and cut The House of Dust. I would really like to read it, but it's probably going to be a slow burn, probably more so than the other four, so let's just go ahead and cut that one. So now we're left with Slewfoot versus Cackle both involving witches. I don't think I could go wrong with either one of these, but I think Cackle is more of a dark comedy, so I'm going to go with Slewfoot. So between Pearl and The Gold Persimmon, I really would like to read The Gold Persimmon, 
as I've not heard anyone talk about it. It sounds really cool with the alternate reality part, but I really gotta go with Pearl. Okay, the moment of truth, Sleuthfoot versus Pearl. Both great in their own rights, I'm sure. But which one would I rather read? Uh, I think I'm gonna have to go with Pearl. So there we have it. Pearl is the winner of this video and it joins four other great titles that I've already picked. If you have not watched those videos, I'll link the cards up here and you can go check them out. They're usually a lot of fun, so yes, that is it. I do have some regrets though. I regret not rating some of these, so I may break down and pick five more eventually, but we'll see. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Come back and see me next time, and until then, keep turning those pages. Bye.